Hello, uh, we're joined today by Terry Suchanik, um, a new author of the book Berta DeLuca. Um, and she was nice enough to join us today uh, to talk about the book and her process and her inspiration. Uh, so, you are a brand new author. This is your first I am. novel? This is my debut novel. Um, I started writing about a year ago, on and off, and um, this is the final, the final product, so I've gotten a lot of good reviews. Excellent, excellent. So this is historical fiction, as, I, as I've been led to believe. And for those at home who might not know, uh, historical fiction, and correct me if I'm wrong here, is uh, when you've got uh, a story and characters that di aren't ne that isn't true, that didn't that, that weren't necessarily around at the time, but it's in a historical setting, so it all could have happened. Exactly. So you know the the events, the statistics, the institutions, all those things are historically accurate and what's plugged into that accurate history are fictitious characters who are moving through that um, that that time in our history so that's uh, that's what makes it incredible because you can um, you can have your characters do anything and that was uh, an exciting very exciting time in our history um, the time period that this book deals with what kind of research did you do uh, for this book? Well, I tell you this, you know, before the advent of the internet, I do not know how anybody wrote a book because they would have to live in the library. Um, even the most minute things, when you're writing about characters, uh, for instance, in an elevator. Well, the elevators in the 1920s are a good deal different than the elevators we have now, so you have to be very careful about all the details and making sure it's authentic. Um, and the internet was a, a wonderful, wonderful tool because there's just so much information and it's so readily accessible. I also had access to, remarkably, people who were alive then. I'm a registered nurse and I'm um, fortunate that I come into contact with people who were in their 90s and even over 100 years old who could talk to me about the things that they remembered about that time. So that was a that was really um, a terrific help and very interesting. So uh, what was your inspiration for the book? Well this is not a true story as we talked about earlier this is historical fiction but the inspiration for this story was my maternal grandfather's um, coming to this country from Italy as a little boy. He came to Ellis Island with his mother and two younger brothers. Um, and what had happened was his father had been recruited to work in the coal mines in Pennsylvania in the U.S. and he saved up enough money to send for them. And they made their way, the voyage across the Atlantic, which was a tough voyage, and they were being processed through Ellis Island and they were told during the processing that um, his father had been killed in a mining accident. They spoke no English and had very little money and ended up having to make their way in, uh, in this country in New York City. And uh, you know, times were tough. It was before you know, social safety nets, before child welfare, before any of those things. And so, um, it was uh, it was quite a story. Uh, so, uh, Berta DeLuca by Terry Suchanik. It's on the bookshelves now and f available for digital download. Uh, thank you so much for being thank with us. Thank you, Alex. Appreciate it.